Well, what we have is a full home automation uh, control platform called Rosie from Savant. Uh, what we're showing here, we're showing a number of different vignettes here in the store, uh, showing different types of control, different types of interfaces for control that end users can use in their homes to control all of their home automation, uh, whether it's audio and video equipment, whether it's lighting, whether it's security, uh, home heating and HVAC systems. Uh, so we can pretty much give you uh, full control of all the technology in the home. All right, so we've got a whole bunch of areas around here and we've got this all wired up basically into your system. Yes. All right, so now I noticed when we came in the front door we had a little touch panel. And tell us a little bit about that. What's, what's that called and how does it work? Yes, this is a, a new technology for us. It's called True Image with Gesture Touch. And what we do is we take a, uh, a touch panel of various sizes. We offer those from 7 inch up to 24 inch. Uh, and basically by using capacitance uh, similar to what you would run into with an iPhone or an iPod Touch, uh, we can basically scroll from room to room in the house and we take a picture of the room and by taking a picture of the room with the lighting on and lighting off, rather than having buttons to control lights and so forth, you would just simply touch the lights in the photograph of the room itself to be able to turn those on, turn them off, dim them. Yes. Uh, those kinds of things. So Definitely. it's a very intuitive way to have people be able to control the room. What what easier way is there than a picture of the room itself? Much more natural than pressing a bunch of uh, right. buttons. So you right. have other ways of inter interacting with the system as well besides this touch panel, which is cool, but you can also do it while sitting in bed with remote control. Correct, yeah. We have uh, what's called on-screen display. Uh, this is a very interesting user interface in that it uses uh, a traditional remote control, handheld remote control like what you're, uh, a lot of people are familiar with, or it could use an iPhone or an iPod Touch to control an on-screen display that could put a control interface over the top of any existing uh, image on any television set. So it's a very simple to use, easy to use interface uh, that can be used to control any of the systems in the house. Again, at Savant, we're very focused on the user interface and the user experience and making it easy for users uh, who may not be familiar with a house to be able to use all the media in the house, which is really nice for not only the main user in the house, but if someone comes to visit, you can plug it into the end wall or the desktop iPod dock, and that media becomes available to the house as long as the the iPod is, is plugged into the dock itself. Uh, and we can scale that up to very, very large systems that can control up to 36 zones of 1080p video and 144 zones of stereo audio. So it can get quite elaborate.